Hello, welcome to Scratch 3 Printing. In this video, I will show you how to do flow rate calibration using Orca Slicer. Let's scratch today's topic. First, what is flow rate calibration? Flow rate calibration is essential in 3D printing. It ensures that your printer extrudes the amount that it needs to be extruded for your specific filament in your printing conditions. The flow rate dictates the amount of filament coming out of your nozzle. What are the key benefits of flow rate calibration? It improves dimensional accuracy, a better surface quality finish. It also ensures that each each layer is properly bond to the one below with no over extrusion or under extrusion. It will also help improve consistency throughout your whole print and it will likely help improve less failure especially on the first layer. With all of that here's how to do the flow rate calibrations. Let's jump over to Orca Slicer. Using their new pattern, which I cannot pronounce, I'll put the name right here. First we go into Orca Slicer. Pick the filament that you are going to change and then click the edit presets right here. Once the material setting open, screw it down a little bit and in the flow ratio and pressure events, you should see flow ratio. Slicers out there usually have a preset flow ratio. So this is the number that we are going to be playing with. At first, just leave this at default. Then what you want to do next is go up in the top left, click calibrations flow rate then we're going to be using this YOLO which is recommended I'm going to be doing this calibration like how you do on pass 1 and pass 2 so for this calibration I'm going to be doing the YOLO recommended first then I'm going to select the piece that is the best then I'm going to be doing the YOLO perfection version a second time so that's what I'm going to be doing you don't have to do that you can just do the YOLO and be done with it or you can just pick the perfection version and be done with it but for me I'm going to do both we look at the setting over here you can see layer high first layer is change so don't fix those don't touch anything else just click slice plate if I zoom in right here, we can see that the pattern is in circle like this. This is the new pattern that they are going to use for this calibration right here. Usually it's just line back and forth, but this is the circle pattern. As you can see here, it goes from 0 all the way to positive 0 0.05 and all the way to negative 0 0.05. So at this point, we can just click print and upload and print to your 3D printer. Okay, for the Cable Max, I just did a flow rate calibration with the circle pattern, the new one from Orca Slicer. And from the look of this, the camera does not pick it up that well. I feel like the zero here is like the best performance out of all of these, because if you look at zero, it has the gaps right there. Zero one, it does have a gap, but the gap is a little bit smaller. Maybe it's between 0, 02, 0, 01, and 0. If I go with 0, I don't have to change anything from the setting. But if I go with any other number, I need to change the setting. So for now, let's just go with 0 and we will do another test. The second one gives you a lot more range. I just finished the Camo Max second YOLO flow rate calibration. And let's take a closer look here. In this case, I feel like 0 is a little bit under extrusion. There's a small gap right here, 0 0.005, I can still see a small gap right there. I think 0 0.01 is the best here. 0 0.02, I feel like that's a little bit over extrusion. I can feel there's a bump right here. And the rest is not valid to be honest. And here is very under extrusion, you can really really see all the gaps. So now I'm going to go to K1 Max and the flow ratio so it's a 0 0.01 so that'll be this you add that to the flow ratio here so 0 0.098 plus 0 0.01 is gonna be 0 0.99 so that is how you do the flow rate calibration for any 3d printer it does not have to be the k1 max just do the same step and you will get your flow rate calibration calibrated improving your print quality overall once these are printed i took a closer look not quite sure if this is relevant but when i look at the back of these printed parts right here you can see that there's gaps inside of there and this is a negative 005 right here so that's under extrusion. If you are having a hard time looking at the top surface here, try looking try looking at the back and see which one is the best. So this is a negative one. And this one right here, for example, is a 0.3. It's a positive, so over extrusion. Looking at the back, everything is connected very well together, but from the front of this, it's not the best. This one right here is a positive 005. And if you look at the back, 
it is pretty close. Only a couple layers right here that is not sticking well with each other, but it is significantly so much better than the negative one. And the front is very smooth. This one is 0.1 and the back is amazing. The back is great. The front is great. So maybe if you cannot decide from the front, look at the back. And that way you have two things to prove that this one is the best for your 3D printer. That will be it for this video of me showing you how I use low rate calibration to calibrate all my 3D printers and to get the best print quality that I can achieve by using the flow rate calibrations. If you still have any questions, comments, leave it in the comments down below. Leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel because more amazing videos like this is coming. And don't forget to become a member of my YouTube channel. And as always, keep on 3D printing.